They've been described as Britain's wolves of Wall Street. The corrupt financiers who carried out a £250 million loan scam to fund drugs, prostitutes and lavish foreign trips like this one. This is Halifax Bank of Scotland manager Lyndon Scourfield. He would give huge loans to struggling businesses. But he'd force those customers to use the extortionate services of these so-called consultants, who were his associates. The vast racket took millions out of HBOS and drove many small companies to closure. It's not my fault that criminals raped and pillaged my business. That's not my fault. Joanne Dove's life was crushed by HBOS. She says the collapse of her £1.2 million business led to the loss of her home and her marriage. It was just barbaric, absolutely barbaric mafia behaviour. And I can't say that strongly enough because the effects on me personally were absolutely devastating. Um, and the effects on my children were devastating because we've had to move house four times because of this. Um, while we struggle to carry on getting redress. And it, it's like hope deferred makes the heart sick. Jurors got to see the super yachts and luxury homes funded by the Sting, ultimately paid for by small business owners and taxpayers. But concerns were raised by customers 10 years ago. The board of HBOS failed to investigate. So too did its successor, Lloyd's Banking Group. Other bodies like the Serious Fraud Office the Financial Services Authority and the Treasury were all alerted to the allegations. It took a regional police force to eventually start uncovering the corruption. I hope those affected by the behaviour of these criminals are provided with an element and a sense of closure. That justice has been done and that today's verdicts and sentences allows those victims to be able to move on. The six now start nearly half a century in prison but it's unclear if their victims will get compensated by HBOS. Julian Drucker, 5 News.